Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? Oh, man, I'm excited about today. Real, real excited. I have a mystery guest for you. I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised. But before I get into that, I wanted to just say this. That whole issue with Mel was a misunderstanding. I don't know why she couldn't just come out and say it, so I'm going to. You know, we heard what she said, and I don't want to kick a dead horse while it's down. So I've had plenty of people in the comments say, no, there's a misunderstanding. She was referring to Mr. Sandman. And I said, well, okay, well, she could have straightened that out instead of making a hot mess out of everything. And then she didn't. So for everybody out there listening, apparently she wasn't saying God told her. She was saying that Mr. Sandman told her. Which brings me to my mystery guest. Yes, Mr. Sandman himself has hit me up and straightened out the whole mess. But here's the surprise. I'm not sure why she calls him Sandman. She should be calling him Sandwoman. I guess it doesn't go to good very well because it's a female. Yes. And this woman reached out to me. So Mr. Sandman has agreed to come on. Uh, she's going to share some information that you guys will be pleasantly surprised. And I look forward to having her on the show. So give us just a moment and we'll head right into this conversation. Before we get started, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. And if you're not a subscriber, please do so. Because when you do, it helps out the channel. And I certainly do appreciate it. You can follow me over on other platforms. I do have a, my own group over on Facebook called Pimby's Investment Chat. Over here, we do talk about gold, silver, cryptocurrencies, as well as foreign currency investments. So head on over here and join us. It's free to do so. In here, I do post updates if I should get on suspension from YouTube or get removed from YouTube. And you want to know what happened to me, I'll let you know right here in this group. I can be found on Twitter, MeWe, YouTube. And the cool thing about YouTube, if you come over here and you join and you find my channel, I got videos going back, I believe, a couple years. So if you want to see some older videos that I have on Nisera Jacera, gold, silver, cryptos, come on over here and join. Look me up and check out my videos. You can also find me on Odyssey, catch me on Rumble. When I say that the links for all these are down below in the description, some of you don't know what I'm talking about, it's real simple. Just go down to the bottom right here of any of my videos, see this, this is the description. Hit show more, and there are all the links to all the platforms I just spoke about. So if you do want to head on over to Money Middles, just click it, and there you are. So come on over, join us, I look forward to having you. So before I get into this, one of the conversations that me and Mr. Sandman had that I thought was enjoyable, I said, what is your idea of Intel? To me, Intel is something that nobody else can bring other individuals, especially if they have insight on something. So if I'm going to have a CBI insider trying to share Intel with me, it should be something that I cannot find out in the news. It should be something special and it should relate to the core subject of what we're talking about. So if I have an insider, they should be telling me things about the dinar, dates, rates, what's coming up, what we should expect, stuff like that. And uh, she agreed with me. So I think you all would agree if a person is going to have an intel person, a special secretive person that nobody knows about, then the information should be something very key to our investment. And so I'm glad she agreed with me. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get right into this with Mr. Sandman, which is ironic that you call her Mr. Sandman to Mrs. Sandman. She's going to go ahead and share some intel with us, and I'm happy to have her aboard. All right, without further ado, Mr. Sandman. I have a unique intel source. Listen, he came, hot news, tax reform is starting in Iraq. Listen to this article. I'm bringing you the news from Mr. Sandman only today because it's so hot. Um, it says... Iraq tax reform conference begins. Booyah, this is my bailiwick. Nobody else can talk about it like I do. Baghdad will witness the launch of the tax reform conference under the auspices of Prime Minister Mohammed Shial al-Sadani and under the slogan, Towards a Transparent and Fair Tax System. The conference's main topics will include tax policies, legislation, governance, and automation, and tax administration and accounting. Yes! Uh, the conference aims to amend tax legislation that is unfriendly to the business environment, develop tax administration and the skills of its employees to raise their level 
of tax performance, reduce, redress the imbalance in the tax working environment and to serve the economic development process, achieve tax justice and reduce the tax burden of taxpayers. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, unlike here, um, facilitate tax procedures and adopt tax governance and review and review Iraq's tax and customs policies under the market economy, strengthen Iraq's position in international taxation classifications, promote the tax culture of taxpayers by reversing tax revenues, by providing quality services and creating investments that contribute to the creation of sustainable income creating jobs. Guys, boom, boom, chicka boom. That is huge news, guys. I couldn't agree more, Mr. Sandman. Where else could they go? So everybody, I want to thank our special guest, Mr. Sandman, for stopping by and sharing the intel that nobody else can get out there in the Dinar community. But one of the things that me and Mr. Sandman did talk about was some of the other intel that's being shared. And uh, she's more than willing to come back and talk about these things if we want her to. We could talk about, you know, the CBI boosts tens of millions of euros. China announces the increase in volume of trade. The Al Fall City is a vital area for Iraq. I said, well, you know what? You already covered that with Mel. So, you know, we'll, we'll talk about things later on. That's not being covered. Maybe something different for me you'd be happy to share. Let me know what you guys think. So thank you, Mr. Sandman, for stopping by. I appreciate it. Pleasantly surprised when she stopped by to go over that there was a misunderstanding on the video. Glad to get that straightened out. Let's get into the regular news, shall we? The President of the Republic to the Minister of Interior, stability is an important element for achieving economic development and encouraging investment. So the President of the Republic of Iraq, Mr. Rashid, stressed during his meeting with the Minister of Interior the importance of consolidating security and stability. A statement from the Presidency of the Republic received by the news, the President of the Republic, Mr. Rashid, received today in the Baghdad Palace, the Minister of Interior. During the meeting, the President of the Republic stressed the importance of consolidating the security and stability that Iraqi cities enjoy, pointing out that the stability is an important element in achieving economic development and encouraging investment in the private sector. He praised the efforts of the Minister of Interior in protecting the security of the region and combating crime in all its forms, especially in reducing the scourge of drugs, noting the importance of providing facilities to citizens to carry out their daily transactions and issuing documents, identification documents, etc. For his part, the Minister appreciated the directives of the President of the Republic and also reviewed the ongoing work progress in the Ministry of Interior at various levels and the implementation of the task assigned in its establishing security and stability and the future plans drawn up in his regard. So the Ministry of Interior, yeah, talk about a tough position. They've been doing pretty good about combating drugs. I heard that was a pretty big issue over there in the news a whole lot lately. We've seen a lot of major busts. Let's hope that continues. The currency auction. The Central Bank of Iraq transfers more than $185 million to strengthen foreign funds. Foreign remittance at the Central Bank auction rose on Tuesday 89% at the expense of cash sales at $185 million. That's a pretty nice climb if you ask me, 89%. <laughs> the Central Bank sold today during its auction to sell and buy the U.S. dollars $205 million and $379,604 covered by the bank at the base exchange rate of 1,305 dinars per U.S. dollar. For documentary credits and international settlements for electronic cards and at the price of 1,310 dinars per dollar for foreign remittances and at the price of 1,310 dinars per dollar in cash. Our correspondent added that most of the bank's dollar sales went to strengthen the balance abroad in the form of reward credits of $185,169,604. Our correspondent pointed out that the banks that bought the cash dollar amounted to nine banks, while the number of banks that met requests to strengthen balances abroad reached 18 banks, while the total number of exchange and mediation companies participating in the auction was 139 companies. So the auctions are used to sell U.S. dollars to other banks. And in exchange, they buy it usually with wherever they are, their currency. So if I'm in China and I want to buy these dollars from Iraq, I can. And then you add those dollars from China into your foreign reserves. And that's how you build it up. 
Also, the currency auction is used to control the stability of the Iraqi exchange rate. Central Bank boosts tens of millions of euros as initial payment to cover imports from Turkey. The Central Bank has boosted tens of millions of euros as an initial payment to cover imports from Turkey, a government source said on Tuesday. An implementation of the banking arrangement agreement made with Turkey during the past week, the Central Bank of Iraq has since last Sunday, December 3rd, strengthened tens of millions of euros as the initial payment. He added that this aims to cover the imports of retailers from Turkey through Iraqi trades paying in Iraqi dinars and the Central Bank reinforcement in euros to settle with Turkish traders and Turkish lira. So this is just part of the currency swap process. This is what they do. Remember... The merchants pay in their local currency and then the banks settle between each other's currency. So there you have it. I want to take the time to thank uh, Mr. Sandman, although she's female, for coming aboard and straightening out a misunderstanding as well as just sharing some hot off the press intel that you can't get anywhere else. I look forward to hearing from you. Comment down below. I'll get back at you. I'm out.